Hello everybody, it's Paul here, and it is Saturday evening. I spent 30 minutes starting this message and something just told me I just stop. And I begin to pray, Lord, what is it? Rebuke Satan in Jesus Christ's name. He wants me to read these verses first, is what it is. We're gonna, so there you go. So, <clears throat> title of this message: I have laid a plumb line. Saith the Lord. Book of Amos, chapter seven, and verse one. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me. And behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth. And lo, it was the latter growth after the king's mowings. And it came to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive I beseech thee. By whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. The Lord repented for this. It shall not be, saith the Lord. It shall not be. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me. And behold, the Lord God called to contend by fire. And it devoured the great deep. And did eat up, eat up a part. Then, it, then said I, O Lord, O Lord, cease. I beseech thee. By whom shall Jacob arise? For he is small. The Lord repented for this. This also shall not be, saith the Lord God. Thus he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line. With a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, What seest thou? And I said, A, pl a plumb line. Then saith the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of of my people Israel. I will not again pass them, pass by them anymore. Oh Lord. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste. And I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword with the sword the word plumb line in the Hebrew is anak a-n-a-k meaning to be narrow to be narrow according to most a plumb line and to others, a hook, a hook. At the beginning of these verses, the word grasshopper is mentioned. The word grasshopper in the original Hebrew is gobe, G-O-B-E, which means the locust. From its grubbing as a larva, grasshopper, great, 
Locust. God has set a plumb line on spiritual Israel, the church. I have a word from the Lord. As God continues to bring, give me a word from Him every single week. And many times that word is repeating itself over and over. It keeps bringing that almost the same message, but from different verses. But it is the mind of God. God has set a plumb line against the church, which is spiritual Israel. We are spiritual Israel because we have been born into it. Abraham is the father of the faith, and we are part of that bloodline because of Christ, because we have Christ, we've accepted Christ. But the elect, not only does she believe and accept him, as the church has done. Oh yeah, the, the church will, will, will clearly tell you they believe in salvation. They believe in Jesus Christ died for their sins, right? But the elect, not only has she, does she believe, but she has received the literal life of the Lord Jesus Christ living inside her. Dying to herself and partaking of his word. Being birthed by the word of God, as the word says. Whereas, you look at this Amos the prophet, and I understand, I can feel his heart. My heart is heavy. My heart aches for the condition of spiritual Israel, the church. Of where she is at. How she has rejected the word. How she's holding on to her creeds and her dogmas. Her traditions. Her church. Her great worship teams. Her cliques. Her identification is more about being her religion. Her, it's a social club. And my heart has been preaching for every year, crying out against the very things. God has set a plumb line, saith the Lord. And it's a narrow path. And there's a hook. And we're going to break it down. Amen. I feel quiet right now. I don't know what God what kind of anointing is going to come to this message. I, I don't know. I feel different tonight. I have felt different all week. I don't know what's going on. Something don't feel right. Something isn't right. And I feel it. Because the rest of the world around me is running so fast. And all these preachers are running with their agendas. Building their online ministries. Putting out false teaching. False hopes. Trying to tell people there's a great global, worldwide movement coming to the country and the globe. Just building followers. Building a false hope. Giving people, the sheep, false hopes. But not catching what the Spirit is saying. Not catching what the mind of God is. Folks, you got to get quiet. There's a quietness upon me right now, tonight. But I know God made me stop this whole message for 30 minutes and brought me to this right here. I want you to read this verse. 
he wants us to be emphasized. Amos the prophet basically crying out to God, but God, can't you do this? Folks, he is here. He has stood at the door and he has knocked. He has knocked and he has knocked. And the church is not letting him in. And you people out there, those those who have who maybe still even listen to this ministry, but yet you're you're listening for certain truths you want to grab a hold of while you're just throwing other truths out out the window. He's been knocking at your door. And he's played, he's placed a plumb line. You'd rather be at your 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 baseball games. But yeah, you can talk about God. Yeah. You'd rather hold on to your your world your worldwide global apostle preachers. You're playing the part, lady. God, God is laying a plumb line, folks. And there's a separation he's drawn. You may be offended, but he's here right now. But he's, he's quietly speaking. He's speaking quietly right now. Because he's trying to get you to slow down. Lady, you run so much. You're so busy. Your mind is running like crazy. And yet you can put on some worship music and you can get a quick, a quick word from some other ministry you follow that's just building you a false hope. And you're missing God's voice. You feel God's spirit get upon you. You feel the anointing. But you're missing the still, small voice, which is his word. But you're not even, you say, well, I read the Bible, but you're not, you're not hearing what he's trying to say to you from his word. He's been trying to reach you. But he's here. He's been knocking. And as he tells Amos the prophet, he speaks right now today to this man right here in this ministry. I have set a plumb line, saith the Lord. As the word plumb line, a narrow path. A hook. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. God has me anointed to, be, to speak like this right now. Because some of you all are not getting it. You're not. I mean, I think some of y'all love when that anointing comes on me and I am just preaching and I'm, I'm yelling in the spirit and I am all over the place, right? I love it. I enjoy it. But something felt different tonight because this is what he wants. Now that anointing may come on me here in a minute and take me a different direction. But God is trying to get through to some people to catch what the mind of God is, what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Whereas Amos the prophet is praying, oh God, he's praying for Israel. But God says, done. I'm done with her. I'm setting a plumb line. Amen.
God gave me a prophecy weeks ago. I told you all about it. He's done with the church. He's done. He's meeting with small groups. He's, he's, he's meeting with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. There's no great... This lady, one lady sent me a video of this apostle guy who talks about there's this great global movement coming. Oh, yeah, there is. The Mark of the Beast. Yeah. And his, his ministers, Satan's ministers, are preaching right along with that agenda, sister. But you're going right along with it. You're going right along with it. I don't care how, what kind of authority you feel in the spirit realm sometimes. You're deceived. You're going right along with it and don't even realize you're blind with it. Just because the Holy Ghost comes on you doesn't mean you have the Holy Ghost. You got to, you got, that doesn't mean you have the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit, it bursts on the inside of your soul. And it's only birthed by the true, complete Word of God. Amen. I want to say this first, and I want to go into some other verses, unless God has me on this 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 anointing right now that I have. It's different. God has set a plumb line. But people continue to keep following all these other things. And God already sent a prophet. Yeah. God already sent a messenger. This is, this is, I was hanging on the back of my wall. It's, it's, it's the dream I had on March 24, 2018. I haven't ever really, I've never even shared the dream. I've talked about it, but I've never told you the details of it because it's very personal to me. And Brother Bannon was in my dream. God has set a plumb line. But yet you want to listen to how many other different preachers and ministries out there who are confusing you and taking you all kinds of different directions. Taking you in directions that are taking you away from the Word of God. And God has, by His very grace, put that same sword in my hand and given me His mind to speak the Word to the people as I've been doing for the past over a year now. The channel is growing. The ministry is growing. God is using this ministry to reach people. But sometimes he wants to just quietly talk to you and tell you it's the still small voice of the revealed word of God. Get still, lady. Could get caught up in all this emotionalism that you're caught up in. Because the Holy Ghost comes, only comes by the complete word. The true, the new birth is the word. It's the word of God. You are birthed by the word. Now, Lord, it's good to listen to the Lord. I preached 30 minutes on this message and something, I just, I stopped. Something doesn't feel right. Deleted the whole 30 minutes. And God told me, you read these verses first. Amen. And we just read those verses. And we have what it talks about there. He formed grasshoppers in the beginning. The word grasshopper is the word gobe, which means locust. And we know right now we are in a cicada. Every 13 or 17 years, these cicada locusts spring up. 
just, I didn't know what was going on. When God gave me this message, like, like Monday, I think it was, I didn't know nothing about cicadas. Here it ties right into the scriptures of what God gave me from these verses right here. From Amos chapter 7. Now, I have a lot of other verses we're going to go into. And maybe obviously the anointing is going to be maybe preaching under a fire, yelling and screaming, I'm shouting in the name of the Lord. But God wanted me to come like this. Because he has been standing there knocking. Lady you see in church age, I stand at the door and I knock. And then finally it's no more knocking. Because he's done. He's done. He set a plumb line. And only the elect get the plumb line. Only, only the elect are feeding upon the complete revealed word of God. She's been hooked. The word hook, plumb line. God, she's been hooked in. That message was sent to, to catch the fish. And she's been caught. And she's been hooked. And God has pulled her in. Amen. Amen. Now. I have laid a plumb line, saith the Lord. We have locusts going on right now. These cicada locust bugs. Every 13 to 17 years that takes place. God is in numbers, folks. And it hit me. Where is the United States found? Revelations 13. Also talks about the Antichrist. Mother of Harlots is found in Revelation 17, which then gives you a greater breakdown of the Antichrist. It's the church systems. Catholicism, as we've talked about many times, is the one world church movement. Your mark of the beast. Your non-denominational churches, folks, are right a part of it. These mega churches and these small scale local town mega churches that we as I've dealt with here in my little town, this church here in town is a joke. The false leadership, canker worm, the palm worm is eaten away at the word of God through the ages, through these churches. It's taken away from the effectiveness and the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, you see in the book of Exodus chapter 10, I won't, I won't read all the verses, God sends a plague of locusts on Pharaoh's house. He sends locusts as judgment to set in, 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 as, as a, one of the plagues that would come in the process of working on Pharaoh to eventually set the people, children of Israel free from bondage. Locust judgment. You go to... Maybe I'm just going to teach tonight. I don't know. This is the guy. God changed my whole thought, my whole mindset tonight. You go to Joel 2, verse 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethol. Hear ye, ye old men, and give ear all you inhabitants of the land. Hath this been in your day, or even the days of your fathers? Tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children and their children another generation. That which a palmer worm hath left, hath it locust eaten. Now, let me tell you something. This is the same... The same bug, just different stages of the same bug. You look at the meanings of these original meanings of these names, it's all it's all the same bug. Different stage of the same bug that's been that has been coming down through the ages and eating away from the word of God. And yet you feed on these ministries, people. I had a lady message me today. Said, Do you do do you believe in the rapture? I <laughs> said, hey, amen, I believe it. Folks, the rapture is the very, it's the very hope of the gospel. It's the resurrection. It's, it's, it's what the Apostle Paul, it's, it's the very thing we preach. It's the hope we have as the children of God, is the rapture and the resurrection of the, of the ones who, who, who pass on before us who we, we want to be reunited with. It's, it's, it's the hope that we have in our soul is the rapture. 
And this woman came back, well, I don't believe in it. There's no, there ain't no scripture even talks about it. And then she come back with some intellectual, intellectual, false, no scripture dovetailing because the devil never brings it like this ministry does. I've had two other women this week. And I tell you what, I don't back down from nothing. You know, I tell you what, Elijah ran from Jezebel, but I don't I don't run from Jezebel's, period. Now, I get tired and weary. I gotta pull away for a while and get God to renew my strength. I ain't, I ain't scared of Jezebel. And I, and these two women come against me. And I put them, I tell you what, I spoke them out right, right under the name of the Lord, right back in their in their place. And I tell you what, they shut down and want nothing else to do with this man. Barking up the wrong tree, there, lady. Men and men are just cowards, Peter. At least, at least men, at least women, at least because women like to don't take this wrong. But women are more emotional, more apt to talk, which maybe that's why there's, I deal with women more than I do men. But men are just cowards. They go hide and they don't, they don't run, they don't stay. I haven't found a man yet who's, who swings a sword. You know, I said to talk about my my connection to that brother in Indiana. You know. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to we're going to be talking here, actually talking soon and trying to get together and, you know, and actually spend some time with him. Um, and I know there's other men out there, trust me, there are, there's other men out there that are swinging the sword of the Lord. And I hope and pray that God can, can, continues to connect me with those men. But that Jezebel spirit, and here she was trying to tell me, and I said, I tell you what, and she tried to say lastly, because this is what the devil does. It's spiritual warfare. Satan works through people. It works through people, okay? And Satan, she and she quoted last in her in her text, it is written. Okay, you you gonna sound you guys sound like you got authority there, don't you? Same thing the devil did to Jesus, didn't he? In Matthew chapter four, tempting our Lord Jesus, saying it is written. But what did Jesus come back with? See, Satan quoted scripture without a revelation, with just intellectual knowledge. But Jesus was the revealed word. And he said, it is also written. Amen. So I quoted right back to her, it is also written. And quoted her Thessalonians. And said, my lady, I will be praying for you. Because you are, you are under false preaching and false teaching. And you are a deceived woman. And you're in a sad place because there's no salvation for that. There's none. That is thus saith the Lord. You are lost, lady. You are lost. You believe you 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 have you have eaten and partooken of death. False teaching is death. The, Jesus said that for us, the true believer, that we should be able to take up serpents and drink deadly things that won't harm us. <laughs> Amen. You know, you know what the, the deadly things is false doctrine. Yeah, it's not saying we're literally going to be grabbing bottles of cyanide and gasoline and drinking it. Some people, the, the, the Pentecostal movement took that literal. It's false teaching. It's false doctrine. It can come, try to come to you. It, it, we all, I've come across things, I get attacked all the time. But you can't, it cannot affect you. Because the Holy Ghost is there. The, 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 the keeper of the house, the strongman of the house is there. He's right there with the word to slice it right back and not let it affect you. But for this woman, she's lost. She has no hope. But the elect, we have hope. We are, we are waiting for the redemption of our bodies. I am longing for the day. If I live to see that day, or if God takes me before, I don't know. That my mom will walk in my room one day. She'll rise first. And then we which remain will be caught up, as the Bible says. Amen? God has set a plumb line. He has laid a plumb line. A narrow path. But the elect has found that path. Now, Jeremiah 46, 23, They shall cut down her forest, saith the Lord, though it cannot be searched, because they are more than the grasshoppers and are innumerable. It mentions grasshopper, but the original Hebrew meaning is the word arba, which is locust. Again, locust. Jeremiah 51, 14, The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men, excuse me, as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. 
There were caterpillars. We got caterpillars, grasshoppers, same word again. Now it's called a young locust, okay? Now, let's continue here. Nahum 3 and verse 15. There shall the fire devour thee, the sword shall cut thee off, it shall eat thee up like the canker worm. Make thyself many as the canker worm, make thyself many as a locust. Thou hast multiplied thy merchants above the stars of heaven. The canker, word, the canker worm spoileth and flieth away. Thy crown are as, as the locusts, and thy captains are the great grasshoppers, which camp in the hedges in the cold day, but when the sun ariseth, they flee away, and their place is known where they are. Thy shepherds slumber. <laughs> You slumbering shepherds. God put in your care his people, his sheep. And you slumber in your false, de false doctrine. You, you slumber in the creeds of your, of your system and the dogmas of your, of your denominational and non-denominational system. You slumber under, under the iniquity of your agenda that you have for, 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 for monetary gain, popularity, fame, all these different agendas that, 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 that guide your very mind and spirit, you slumbering pastors. Locusts, we're, we're in cicada season, folks. These things don't happen from just for, for any coincidence. The timing of everything as Amos is crying out to God, Lord have mercy, and God says, done with Israel. My knock is done. I have turned from you, you pastors, you apostles, you prophets, you teachers, you evangelists that, 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 so, that say you declare the word of the Lord, but you water down his word. I have cried out under the anointing and, sh and shouted against you for the past year. But God has set a plumb line. God is moving with her. God is with the elect. Amen. You are, you are blessed, elect. Now, O king of Assyria, that thy nobles shall dwell in the dust, thy people is scattered upon the mountains. I want to say this, folks, to you all. You're, you're under oppression. Everything uh, 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 that, that the, the, the prince of the power of the air around you well, your mind is, 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 is it, it works. It's an, the mind is intellect, folks. The mind is re 